I am Rajeshri Linka, lecturer of Civil Department, MIT Bhubaneswar. Now I am going to discuss some MCQ questions of Hydrology Engineering, which is very important for your coming semester. So, the first question is, on what aspect is precipitation calculated? Again, the question is, on what aspect is precipitation calculated? The options are based on hydrological aspect, option B based on climatical conditions, option C based on vegetational of the area and last one is based on the weather forecast. So above the questions the answer is your option A based on hydrological aspect because the evaporation of the water from the surface of river and oceans and uh, its uh, precipitation on the earth is known as your hydrological cycle. So the based on the hydrological aspect aspects uh, the distribution of precipitation on the earth surface and beneath the earth is calculated. That's why the answer is your option A that is based on hydrological aspect. Okay. Then we move to your second question. The second question is what evaporate is carried with the air in the form of vapor known as dash. The options are cloud, drizzle, fog, smoke. So the options are cloud, diesel, fog, smoke. The answer is your cloud because it is the science which deals with the rainfall and water is evaporated from the plants, rivers, oceans and also your carried out with the air in the form of vapor which is known as your cloud. So cloud is very different shape and size and they move according to winds. Okay. Then we move to your third question. The third question is when does vapor turn into form of water or snow? Again the question. When does vapor turn into the form of water or snow? The options are cold below dew point. Option B at frost point. Option C when cold freezing point. Option D when there is rise in humidity. The answer is your option A that is cool below dew point. Why? Because water is evaporated from surface of the earth and stored in the form of clouds. When the vapors in the atmosphere are cooled below dew point temperature, it falls the form of water and also snow. It's depending on the atmospheric temperature. That's why when uh, vapor turns into the form of water, it cooled below the dew point. Okay. So, the question number 4 says, what source of energy does evaporation and precipitation consist of? The options are perennial energy, gravitational energy, thermal energy, kinetic energy. And your answer is your perennial energy. Because this evaporation and precipitation is a natural continuous process and therefore constitute a perennial source of energy. So both this evaporation and precipitation comes under your hydrological cycle. That's why the only source which is uh, for evaporation and precipitation consists that is your perennial energy. Question number 5. Question number 5 said, What on the ground surface entering the soil is called? Uh, the options are infiltration, transpiration, filtration, and precipitation. So, your answer is your infiltration. Because infiltration in the process by uh, which water on the ground surface enter to the soil. Uh, infiltration rate is soil science is a measure of the rate which soil is able to absorb in rainfall. So it measured uh, inches per hour or uh, millimeters per hour. Okay. Then we move to your 
क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्स दैट इज योर द एनर्जी इनपुट टू द हाइड्रोलॉजिकल साइकिल बाय ऑप्शन आर विंड वाटर सन हेड द ऑप्शन सेगेन विंड वाटर सन हेड एंड द योर आंसर इज ऑप्शन सी दैट इज योर सन बिकॉज द एनर्जी इनपुट टू द हाइड्रोलॉजिकल साइकिल इज सन ड्यू टू सन वाटर इवाप्रेट्स फ्रॉम द वाटर बॉडीज एंड इन अदर वर्ल्ड वी कैन से ऑन कूलिंग द वेपर्स फ्रॉम क्लाउड विच फॉल्स डाउन इन द फॉर्म ऑफ रेन स्नो हेल सो दिस इज नोन एज योर प्रेसिपिटेशन ओके प्रेसिपिटेशन सो नेक्स्ट वी मूव टू योर क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवेन अबाउट हाउ मच अमाउंट ऑफ प्रेसिपिटेशन Uh, is returned back to your atmosphere. The options are two by three, one fourth, three by three, one third. So the answer is your two by three. Option A. Why? Because precipitation includes all water that falls from the atmosphere to earth surface in any form. About two third person of precipitation that reaches land surface is returned back to atmosphere by water surface, soil, and vegetation. Okay. Then we move to your question number eight. That is your amount of rainfall which runs off the earth land surface to form stream is used for dash. The options are flow generation. बैक वाटर स्टोरेज पी आई टी इरीगेशन लिफ्ट लिफ्ट थ्रू कैनाल एंड द आंसर इज योर फ्लोअर जेनेशन बिकज अबाउट टू थर्ड पर्सन ऑफ रेन इज रिटर्न बैक टू योर एटमोस्फिर एंड रेस्ट अमाउंट ऑफ दैट इज योर वन थर्ड पर्सन ऑफ रेन इज बैक टू योर ओसेन्स ओके so the amount of rainfall which runs off the earth and land surface to the stream and rivers is used for your flower generation okay then we, we will move to your question number 9 that is your where is that is your question number 9 where is the catchment area situated with respect to dam okay द आंसर इज योर क्वेश्चन नंबर ए बिहाइंड द डैम बिकज इन कैचमेंट एरिया हाइड्रोसाइड ऑफ द टोटाल एरिया लोकेटेड बिहाइंड द डैम सो ड्रेनिंग वाटर टू द रिजर्वर द प्लेस इज यूजली स्टेप एट दिस पॉइंट सो व्हाट एपेंड ना द डैम हेड एक्ट्स एट आउटलेट पॉइंट लेट आउट द आउटलेट वाटर आफ्टर यूटिलाइजिंग द पावर प्रोडक्शन then we will move to your question number 10 okay then your question number 10 amount of rainfall which runs off the earth land surface to form stream is used for what flower generation back water storage pit irrigation left through the canals and the answer is your question number a flower generation because about 2/3 portion of rain is returned back to your atmosphere and 1/3 portion of return back to your ocean the amount of rainfall which runs off the earth land surface to form stream and rivers is used for uh flower generation okay flower generation that's why the answer is your option a okay so then we will move to your question number 11 rainfall is also known as what rainfall question is again rainfall is also known as what your answer is your question number a precipitation because the rainfall is also known as precipitation 
is a natural process of atmospheric vapor into the water so atmospheric vapor are nothing but clouds which are containments of the air and water so when the temperature goes below dew point then precipitation takes place okay then we will move to your question number 12 in your question number 12 said in which of the following season is evaporation loss from free water in large the options are winter spring autumn summer the, the answer is your question num- answer number d that is your summer because during summer the evaporation loss from the free water surface is considerably large and this evaporated water finds room in the air mass okay so the water holding capacity of air in the form of vapor is also very large in hot weather okay then we'll move to your question number 13 the question is rate of rainfall is expressed in uh, dash centimeter millimeter kilometer meter so the answer is your and the answer is your is option a that is your centimeter because the rate of rainfall is expressed in centimeter of water during a given period of the time okay uh, one centimeter rainfall is the quantity of water that is your collected on the certain area due to rainfall which becomes one centimeter in height okay so we move to your question number 14 that is average annual rainfall uh, ranging to desert to hilly region would be dash the, the options are 1100 cm 2500 cm 845 cm 500 cm the answer is your option a that is your 1100 cm so the answer is 1100 cm because the rainfall varies widely from the other part of the world to the another ranging from the desert uh, region to the hilly regions where the average annual rainfall may be uh, over than your uh, 1100 cm so, so because of some region the seasonal variant in very light and monthly rainfalls are relative uniform okay the last question that is your 15 number question says the annual rainfall at any given station varies from dash the options are month to month week basis year to year quarterly the answer is your option c year to year because the annual rainfall at any given station varies irregularly from year to year the range of this variation marks the reliability of the rainfall and has great importance to the design of storage reservoir okay it is all about your mcq question of hydrology okay thank you